Hello fellow addicts, welcome to Me Time Gamer Podcast, episode 9 uh, of MeTimeGamer.com's only podcast for right now. I'm your host, Jonathan Fournier, creator and editor-in-chief. Today's special guest, myself. Alright, got that covered. So let's move on to new releases for this for the week of March 24th. For the first game on the list, we have the, the biggest game, PS4 exclusive, Bloodborne. So if you guys are a big fan of uh, Dark Souls series and all those kind of neat, that neat little series, you will probably uh, love Bloodborne because it's in the same line as Dark Soul. Our next, the next little game on the list is Borderland, Borderland the Handsome Collection coming to PS4 and Xbox One. Uh, the Borderland Collection, if you guys don't remember the news about it. Includes uh, Borderlands 2 and Borderlands the pre the pre sequel, that's so that's going to be coming out next week. Uh, also coming to Xbox One, you have a Forza t- Forza Horizon 2 presents Fast and Furious. Um, so that's basically Forza 2 uh, a standalone a standalone expansion, which you uh, it's free actually if I remember correctly, that you'll be able to get next week on the 27th if I remember. Uh, another uh, cool PC game now coming to PS4 and Xbox One is Slender The Arrival. So if you guys played it on the PC and you enjoyed it, now you're going to be able to pay, play it on the new on the current gen console. Uh, hopefully, I'll get a chance to try that out myself. Um, also coming out, you have Lego Lego Nin- Ninja Go Shadow of Ronin coming to PS Vita and 3DS. Um, the last game on the list that was able that I was able to find is Damascus Gear Operation Tokyo coming to PS Vita. So that's all for what I was able to find for new releases for the for the week of March 24th. Uh, check out the article uh, usually at the end of the week. Well, between Sunday and Tuesday of uh, next week, you can get the full list after uh, all the big uh, sites announce their uh, like PlayStation usually announce announce that stuff. Uh, I should the, they usually release the drop on Friday, so I'll have the full list either on Sunday or Monday there that you guys will be able to check. So uh, let's move on to uh, this week in news. All right, so the little, the first big piece of news we got for you, since I missed uh, a week, I'm going to cover a bit of the news from last week too, uh, is the first little news, uh, it's going to be uh, update 2.5 coming coming soon to PS4, so this uh, update uh, brings a couple features you guys were waiting for, uh, the the update 2.5 called Yukim, Yukimura. Uh, well, uh, inst- if you remember a couple weeks back, they were uh, saying they were going to add a sub accounts to master account upgrade. So that's going to be in that update. Um, you'll be able to do Facebook friend search. So if you don't know one of your friend has a, P- a PlayStation account, you're going to be able to find the, um, the, your friends on the PS4 and bother them like you wouldn't imagine... W- so not only can you bother them with your Facebook game requests, well, you can bother them with your PS4 game request too. So that's going to be pretty fun for you guys to try that out. Uh, next little feature on the list of uh, 2.5 update for PS4 is remote play sh- and share play will be at 60 frames per second. So that will be an upgrade to the visual. It's always fun to have. So you will also have um, accessibility option. Uh, if so, this, those are for people that have a little bit more problems with those special little things. Be able to uh, uh, options include text to spe- text to speech, uh, enlarge text, uh, bolder font, higher contrast UI, zoom for displayed pictures, invert colors on screen, and a couple more things you're gonna add to. Uh, also, you will be able to reassign your PS4 controller buttons. So, if you want your X where the triangle is, or vice versa, or you can, you're going to be able to try that out. Uh, trophy. It's also uh, Yakimura. Yakimura also, the, sorry, the 2.5 update for PS4 is also bringing trophy improvement. I think the biggest feature in that list is that if you have a 
if you guys want to get rid of some of your trophies that you don't collect on your trophy lists, uh, but they have uh, the but like the list, the some of the games that are a zero percent completion, you're going to be able to delete those from your trophy lists. So, uh, so you guys, if you want to improve your uh, your gamer score, you're going to be able to do that a bit. I'm, I'm, I got a couple of games at zero percent that I'll get rid of. So. Uh, You will also be able to share video clips to Daily Motion, the, the website, if people still use Daily Motion. Uh, and the biggest, the one I should have mentioned at the beginning, there uh, there was also also be there the um, suspend resume feature coming to this update. So if you guys are not sure what that is, is you can pretty much uh, pause the game, uh, suspending the game, put your PS4 on standby, turn your PS4 back on, and start exactly where you you. Uh, you left off so uh that's going to be a fun little feature you guys were going were will be able to uh, check out when that comes up there's no official uh announce date uh, date announced yet so definitely keep an ear out for that it's probably going to be on the PS blog once it comes out next little piece of news we have on the list is uncharted 4 unfortunately delayed till spring 2016 so uh there's not much to be said It's just like like a lot of games that happened last year. Uh, you're gonna we're Uncharted, uh, like a lot of people predicted, Uncharted will be delayed till uh, spring 2016. So, uh, like I like I like saying like I usually like saying it's better delayed the game a bit and uh, try to get it better than what it is. If they're doing if they're delaying it, it's probably there's probably a pretty good darn reason to do it. So uh, if it makes the game better, why not, right? We don't want a we don't want another Battlefield ex Battlefield 4 incident or you know, uh, all the other games that had problems last year. So hopefully uh, we'll get an awesome Uncharted 4 game. Uh, another little piece of news for you guys to enjoy. Uh, if you, uh, last month we had the release of Episode One of uh, Life is Strange. Uh, last week they, allow, they announced the release date for uh, Life is Strange Episode Two. Uh, entitled Out of Time, coming, it's going to be out on March 24th, so pretty much next week, uh, so I totally forgot to write that down on my new releases, so um, so if you guys are ready to pick up episode 2, or, or if you bought this, the pretty much the, the season pass, you'll be able to get that in your list, uh, what else news do I got for you guys? Uh, you, we have also, for a quick little piece of news, we got, uh, if you guys are fans of uh, PGA Tour games, uh, which was Tiger Woods before, well, Tiger Woods was, Tiger Wood, which was pretty much uh, chopped out of that one, and now it's going to be Rory, Rory McIlroy, it's going to be basically Rory, Rory, uh, Jesus, Rory McIlroy PGA Tour whatever date it is, or it's going to be the new featured player on top of those games. So if you guys are a big fan of those games, you'll probably definitely check that out. I remember last time I played PGA Tour was probably 2009-2008. I enjoyed it back then. So uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it for that news. Uh, if, you, if you guys are looking for an awesome movie to check out, I know uh, I, most most of the time I speak about um, video games, but since uh, this movie is about video games, why not talk about it? They released the first trailer for uh, Pixels, the movie, uh, which you can go check out that art that trailer on our website if you wanna if you wanna see what that looks like. Uh, and the last little piece of news is uh, Kojima uh, to leave Konami after Metal Gear Solid Five. Uh, will be done. So this is just a. Um, so far, this hasn't not has not been confirmed, but um, sources close to uh, sources close to the to Kojima and the Konami says that there's a power struggle, pretty much uh, going on right now. So they're having a hard time keeping their heads together. So far, yeah. So that's pretty much the news on that one. It's hopefully they'll. Uh, They'll keep working together because they did announce Silent Hills coming uh, at some point. So hopefully they will have a nice game for people to see. But uh, yeah, that's it. F that's it for the news this week. Sorry, I seem to be rushing this week. I don't have much to talk about. Uh, so I will move on right now to uh, what I've been playing 
uh, for the last, well, pretty much say what I've been playing for the last two weeks. Um, so I've been playing a little bit more of Just Cause 2, which is still a very fun game. Uh, I seem to be playing a lot more of it lately. Uh, I I played a, bit, a little bit more of Dying Light. Just a bit more. I finished the story. Uh, I've really enjoyed it. It's, it's, it's fun. It, it's okay. It's uh, it's a, it's a nice story. I really enjoyed it when I when I finished it. Uh, so yeah, what else did I play? Oh yeah, with the PS Plus uh, release, uh, the pl- with the PS Plus free games that came out a week back or so. Uh, I played Ollie Ollie Two, which is a fun game that has a nice repeatability to it. Uh, the challenges are fun, challenge the uh, ni- nice and easy, and they ramp up a bit. I'm still trying to get a. Uh, I've been playing this on the Vita, so I'm still trying to get a hands on like pressing the friggin' X button to land moves. It's not like skate or uh, Tony Hawk's, right? So it was a bit weird at first because I'm used to those games, but I wasn't I'm not used to pressing a button to land and make it land perfectly. But it, it adds a little bit more to, to the challenge, and it's fun. So that's always interesting. I played, uh, what else did I play? I played, uh, oh, a game you should definitely try out on the list of, uh, uh, PS Plus game is, uh, Counter Spy. I, I play, I picked that up earlier last week and, um, I really enjoyed it. It's really fun experience. I like the, um, 2D, 3D type thing going on when you go into cover and, uh, try to do a stealthy mo- attacks and thing, little things like that and it's really enjoyable if you guys are looking for a quick quick game to pick up uh it's it's one of those games that it can get really enjoyable it's uh, challenging uh work with it works with like defcons and uh, things like that it's a, it's an older game so maybe some of you guys already played it but if you if you were waiting it for to be free on ps plus definitely go try it out for sure uh what else trying to memorize what I've been playing for a while, uh, I did play, I think the game I played the most is, uh, was playing the GTA Heist, and, um, really, really, really enjoying that little thing, it's so fun, I wasn't playing a lot of GTA before, but when, of course, when they announced, when it got released last week, I started, right a couple days before it it came out, I started playing a lot of it just to get back in the groove of it. And uh, man, on the, on the new on the current gen console, is it's a fun game, and the heist just just brought that online portion of it to another level that made makes it even even uh, even better. Uh, looking on the internet, a lot of people seem to love it because they were waiting for it so long. But I think it was time uh, well wait. It was, it was definitely worth the wait. I even saw some people saying that it's probably some of the best free DLC, well, DLC altogether, and it's free too, so, some of the, be- yeah, some of the best DLC they ever played, and, uh, yeah, I, I would have to agree, it's pre- pretty much up there, even, yeah, I would be ready, I, I haven't finished all the heists, but, uh, it's pretty fun, especially when you play with your friend, you just get into the most awesome moments while you're playing, um, and, uh, that's all the video games I played for the last couple of weeks, <laughs> Uh, I will be, uh, playing, uh, probably, probably be, will be, uh, trying to play some, uh, a little bit more of GTA Heist, I will try to stream that for you guys, uh, I will be, uh, lately, I don't know what got into me, but I started looking at, a uh, PewDiePie, uh, on, uh, on YouTube, and I'm really starting to enjoy, and, uh, one of the videos I've been watching a little bit, a little bit of his, are his Outlast videos when when he starts freaking out and so, some of the parts are just so freaking hilarious. So um, I'm probably going to play some Outlast and stream it for you guys so you guys probably hear me uh, lose my lose my lose my mind playing the, actually the the DLC of it, the whistleblower. You guys will be able to check that out if I'm able to stream it. If I if I do stream it, it's probably going to be tomorrow. So uh, if you guys do feel like watching me, watch, uh, tune in tomorrow, uh, around usually around eight or nine o'clock p.m. Eastern st- Eastern time, uh, which I will tell you where to go in a couple of minutes. Um, and yeah, oh, and one little thing too is I got I sent out my Xbox like uh, uh, on Monday, 
uh, the gra- I guess the graphic card or the HDMI port wasn't working anymore, and it wasn't displaying any image. And uh, yeah, Xbox actually sent me a new Xbox back in replacement. So I guess I got it two days later. So that's pretty fun. Right now it's reinstalling all the game, and if if one thing the Xbox is is not fast on doing is downloading stuff compared to the PS4. It is extremely slow, and I got good internet here. So, um, hopefully that won't take two weeks to get all my games back on the new hard drive. So, that's it for what I played. So, unfortunately, this week there's no ping of the week uh, because I got lazy. And, um, I'll just move on to my kickstarting it of the week. So, this week's kickstarting it is uh, Melancholy Republic. This one was sent actually from uh, Nicholas, from the uh, the company making this game. So basically, this uh, is developed by Cloud Runner Studios, and um, this is a UK company. Uh, oh, I forgot to say again. Once again, <laughs> I keep forgetting the essential stuff. Sometimes, uh, basically, if you don't know what kickstarting it is, is I uh, either you guys send me in or I choose one game every week. Uh, an indie game on Kickstarter or similar websites and I promote them so you guys can discover them and uh, go back them up on their respective page. So for this week, I'll start over. For this week, the game is Melancholy Republic, developed by Cloud Runner Studios. Sorry there. Uh, this game was suggested by Nicholas from, from actually Cloud Runner Studios. He, appro- he uh, contacted me through uh, tw- Twitter and we uh, went from there. From uh, from uh, from March twentieth, they have eighty five backers, and they're looking for fifteen thousand euros. A little bit of uh, different currency for you guys. Uh, uh, as of uh, the same date as uh, as as March tw- as of March twentieth, they have uh, two thousand five hundred nineteen euros collected, and the funding ends on Friday, April tenth at seven p.m. Eastern time. And this game will be coming to PC. So you can go on the article on the website, check out the uh, YouTube video. uh, for uh, It's about a a two-and-a-half-minute, three-minute long video you guys can check out. So basically, uh, Melancholy Republic is a JRPG-inspired cinematic story-driven game that takes inspiration from games like Final Fantasy and Chrono Trigger. You play as a young female protagonist named Claire C. Lockridge, and you must save the country of her country of for of corruption to do so you must travel through the city of Lorna you must conquer four distinct chapters of awesome gameplay and story the game features sequences of exploration and mini games to help you get at the bottom of the problem at hand so basically uh, Melancholy Republic seems to have an intriguing premise that has the potential to attract many players of the Final Fantasy Final Fantasy community and the like I enjoyed the premise of the game and as well as the graphical approach to the game that brings back some of my favorite uh, game memories from older generation consoles. So um, I got I actually posted some of the uh, nice uh, concept art and the in-game uh, screenshots. And like I said, there is the there is the uh, the trailer you can go check out. So yeah, go to their Kickstarter page and help these guys out. They had, as you can, as, as you heard, they're a little bit far from their, uh, from their, uh, from the, the their their end goal. But you guys can make that happen for sure. So definitely go check that out if you like these kinds of games. And if you guys would like to get your game, if you get your game featured on Kickstarting it, please send us an email at contact at metimegamer dot com with the subject title Kickstarting it requests. So that's it for this week, guys. Um, I would like to thank uh, Techno Axe Royalty Free Music for the intro and outro music. Also, I'd like to thank uh, Mansardian and Unfa for the this week in uh, this week in news. There's no ping of the week intro this week, so well, I'll thank Unfa anyway because we do, do I do use his music uh, most weeks. Uh, these these two guys you can check out at freesound.org. You can go check out our affiliate page at metimegamer.com forward slash affiliates. We got, so we, uh, if you guys, uh, first time listeners, if you guys are interested in go and check, we have uh, g2a.com, play-asia.com, uh, Amazon Canada and US. Oh, and uh, uh, a little side note here. Uh, if you 
you guys it would really help out if you use a US Amazon link because if nobody uses it then I lose it then nobody nobody's going to be able to use it so definitely if you want to help out go check that out you don't have to buy a hundred dollar thing just buy one one dollar uh, cord for your speakers or something I don't, I don't know <laughs> whatever you guys want uh, you guys can go check out we have an affiliate link for PlayStation Store and Microsoft Store you can also go check out thinkgeek.com uh, also tfury.com we also have affiliate link for Uplay Store Origin Store uh, GameStop uh, we also have affiliate links for Razer headsets Call Candy headset we got also uh, an affiliate link uh, for Pac-Man the, uh, the PC version of it uh, we also have uh, iTunes link walmart.ca uh, uh, and if you guys like to, if you guys don't feel like shopping on our affiliate links which uh, if you do use the affiliate links it doesn't change your experience so if you guys do shop through our affiliate links it doesn't cost you more it doesn't change anything it doesn't it doesn't warm your computer, it doesn't crack your computer, it doesn't do anything like that. It just helps, uh, it gives me a, uh, gives us a small percentage of your purchase and it helps the, the website out and just makes it better. Uh, if, and then if you don't feel like using the affiliate page, you can use the GoFundMe page. Uh, just go to uh, metimegaring.com forward slash affiliates. Go to the bottom of the page, you got a GoFundMe.com icon. Just click on that and... Uh, anything helps right so if you guys do feel like a little bit generous uh go check that out but right now you can put that on hold and go check out i actually uh, started uh promoting uh, extra life if you guys don't know what extra life is basically it's a it's a charity event where gamers like myself or whoever feels like it uh, we play video games for 24 hours and uh, you guys donate donate cash so this this year it's taking place on november 7th at and it starts at 8 a.m until 8 a.m the next day and i'll be playing for uh children's hospital of eastern ontario here in canada so chio for you more uh, uh knowing people of the region uh you guys can definitely help me out if you want i put a goal of one thousand dollars and if you guys are interested i you can you can uh, you can play for teams, and I'm playing for actually one of the awesome sites I like going to is psnation.com. Uh, you can go check the, the, those guys those, those guys out for sure. But I'm I'm on their team, so I need my, all the money are accumulated into group and all that stuff. So you guys, if you don't know what it is, go to extra-life.org forward slash participant forward slash me time gamer all one word. You can go check that out. Donate. One dollar to however you want. Sky, how 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 much you want? Whatever you want. Sky's the limit. In this case, it's to help out kids. I got two of my own, and you never know when kids get sick. So definitely go check that out. The writing there is a little bit better than me trying to explain it and babbling on and on and about it. So definitely go check that out and help out a great cause for you guys. Uh, if you so. Th- you can find this podcast definitely where you're listening to it right now, of course. But if if you're listening it from the website and you want it to be a little bit more mobile, you can check it out on Stitcher, on TuneIn, iTunes, and also on Audio Mac, which you can go download it there from Audio Mac. Uh, if you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, critiques, or topics for Ping of the Week, or anything else you can think of, contact us at the podcast at metimegamer.com. If you'd like to place an ad on the podcast, just send us an email email at contact at metimegamer.com. Last but not least, the final stretch, guys. If you would like to follow Me Time Gamer, you can go to facebook.com forward slash Me Time Gamer. Of course, I forgot the most important thing right now. I'm doing a contest right now with a beautiful poster of The Order 1886. I got two to give away, one on Facebook, one on Twitter. So go to Twitter. Well, let's start with Facebook because that's where I was at right now. Go on to facebook.com forward slash me time gamer. Look, at, find the uh, the post about the uh, the poster. Uh, nice little beautiful pictures you guys can can look at. Um, like it, share it with your friends. If you don't like the page, like it, uh, and that gives you one chance for chance number dose. You can check out on Twitter, me uh, twitter.com forward slash me time uh, me time gamer, or just go. Twitter.com and search at me time gamer. You'll find it either way. Uh, look for the tweet about the contest, and uh, please do keep in mind you must follow, share, 
well, retweet and favorite the post. You don't have to favorite it, but it always helps. Uh, I notice you more in that situation. So uh, you guys can go check that out. So if you do, if you go on Twitter and Facebook, double your chance of getting it. Uh, of course, if you win it in, in the Facebook, you won't win it on the Twitter page. Unfortunately, you can't have two of them. Uh, and if after all that's done, you can go check out our awesome videos at uh, youtube.com forward slash user forward slash me time gamer. I put uh, streams that I did on Twitch. I put uh, unboxing videos, a um, couple trailers that I get from uh, from uh, press releases. And uh, what else do I got in there? Yeah, I really want to try to get more uh, more streaming done. Uh, so I will try to do a little bit more of that. Talking about streaming, uh, we you can go to twitch.tv forward slash me time gamer. I will, like I said a little bit earlier, I'll try to stream some uh, some Outlast and some GTA and whatever I feel like playing. And uh, if you feel like checking us out even more, if you're a Reddit user, because I know. Uh, The, pay, the front page of the internet is pretty much there. You can go on reddit.com forward slash r forward slash me time gamer. Usually the only thing that's there is I'm just re anything I post on the website, I post it on Reddit too, so you guys can ch definitely check that out. You can also check out my articles at gambitcom.com. And that's going to be it for this week, guys. I've talked enough. I almost speed ran to, through that one. So hopefully you guys didn't miss us. And hopefully you will enjoy another great week of video games. And uh, yeah, so try out new games, nice indie games, or even big titles. And uh, I will talk to you next week, guys. Have a great one. Bye-bye.